Hi, welcome to this tutorial today. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to add decals to a skeletal mesh so it follows the animation. Um, this is usually used for like bullet decals or blood spatter or stuff like that. Um, I want to show you this because there's assets on the or plugins and assets on the marketplace that are way too expensive, not needed, have performance pitfall, pitfalls. So I'm going to show you how to do this easily in blueprints. You don't need to pay for anything. So with that said, let's go ahead and show you an example of what we're going to look at. So we've got this scalable mesh here, and as you see in the left corner, I am spawning these decals on him. We're going to go up there. As you can see, he's got bullet holes, blood holes on him. And uh, it's not on the back, it's following the bone. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, and just so you can see, it's spawn on the back as well, on the arms. Um, and it'll spawn wherever the line trace hits. That's what we're going to use to spawn it. So as you can see, right here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So um, I'm going to be doing this on left mouse button, but you can use this on any um, binding that you want, key binding you want. So the first thing what we're going to do is, and this is in the player character. I'm using the third person character, as you can see here. Okay. The first, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the, we're going to get the camera, the follow camera. You can use whichever cam camera you want. Um, I'm just using the one that I'm looking at. That's where the line trace will be. We need a line trace to do this. So just how wherever you want to point the line trace, use that. Um, okay. So we're going to do get world location, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do get forward vector of the camera. All right, we're going to multiply this by a float. So type in um, multiply and then right click the little thing on the bottom and two float double precision. We're going to do 5,000 since that's a good length. We are going to add these two together. So we're going to take the world location and the forward vector times 5,000. We're going to add those together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a line trace by channel. Okay. And we're going to put the plus into the end and the get world location into the start. All right, um, there we go. And then now we will have a line trace. I'll show it to you right here. As you can see, we have a line trace. Now it's not doing anything just yet. So we are going to get that working now. So what we're going to do is on the return value, we're going to do a branch. And this will just make sure that it doesn't run any code if it doesn't hit anything. OK, and then on the out hit, we are going to break hit result. We are then going to um, get the hit component, and we're going to cast the skeletal mesh. And what this does is think of this like a branch. This is true, this is false, and then we have access to the skeletal mesh component, which we're going to use in just a second. Okay, because we only want to spawn the, we only want to use this line trace on skeletal meshes. We don't need to use it on um, static meshes. If you want to do that. Just do this again and uh, use spawn decal at location and, uh, and, and then follow the rest of this. So, um, so now that we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to do spawn decal attached. Okay, we're going to do attached. And I'll show you the decal material in a sec that we're going to use. So for the attach point name, we're going to get the hit bone name. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is I found that like five, at least for the decals I'm using, five, 25, and 25 is a good size. Um, X is going to be how thick it is. Y and Z are going to be how tall and wide it is. So just keep that in mind. Okay, and then on the attached component, we're going to do the hit component, or actually, I'm sorry, we're going to do the skeletal mesh component from the cast, and that way we only spawn this on skeletal meshes. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the impact point, we're going to put that in location, impact normal, into rotation. Now, this is super important here. This is super important. On the location type, do keep world position. That way, it'll follow wherever it hit right here. OK, so we've got this set up, um, and we're almost done here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to a decal lifespan of 60. So that means that after 60 seconds, this is going to be destroyed and removed from the skeletal mesh. You want to do this, especially if you're spawning a lot, like with a machine gun or something, um, because if you don't and you never cull them or never destroy them, the decals, then it'll eat up performance. Usually you can have a lot of decals, but if you get to an infinite amount, like you just keep adding and adding, it'll kill performance. So just be aware of that. 
um, be aware of that with the lifespan. Okay, so now I've made a blood material. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. It's just blood decal. And what it is, is I took this, this blood bullet thing I got off Google Images, and then I used uh, remove.bg as the website to remove the background and make it transparent. Okay, so it's just this little blood bullet hole thing. Um, and then what I did was I went to the material. I created a material. I took it from surface to deferred decal, and then opaque to translucent. And then I just plug the RGB into base color and the alpha into opacity. Um, if you are having trouble, if, if you don't see this black around your, um, your texture, but you see other stuff like checkerboards or something, that means it doesn't have opacity. It needs to be, the texture needs to have translucency in it. Okay, so we've got this now. All right, and the final thing to do is I'm just going to put a print string here so we know that we spawn the decal in case for whatever reason uh, we can't see it like we're far away. Okay, and then the other final thing that we need to keep note is we're using the trace channel visibility. You can set up custom uh, custom trace channels in the project settings over under project settings and then collision. You can just make a new one here. Um, we're just going to use visibility for this. So with that said, on your skeletal mesh, I've just made a duplicate character. He's just in a running animation. But on your skeletal mesh, you need to go down and go to collision and make sure that on the collision presets, you have visibility set to block because line traces use block to detect things. So just keep that in mind. And that is pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to leave this here on screen for you to look. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to see the whole code, if you got a little behind. Okay, so now if we just go in here, as you see it's spawning all the decals, spawn some on the legs, the head, there we go, there we go. All right, cool. And now we've got skin decals. So I just saved you like 50, 90 bucks, 100 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever those marketplace assets charge. Um, and this is how you do it. Thank you for watching.